Hey everyone, welcome back to Loud Quiet Vids. We're here today to talk about the movies of 2021 with the Oscars coming up. Best picture. The nominees are Belfast, Coda, Don't Look Up, Drive My Car, Dune, King Richard, Ligorish Pizza, Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, West Side Story. Okay, personally, I would give it to Drive My Car. I don't know why, but I'm predicting West Side Story. And that would be the first time yeah. both the remake and the original film had won Best Pictures. I personally don't think it's going to happen, but it would be interesting. I would say West Side Story or The Power of the Dog. I do think Power of the Dog will win. That just seems to kind of be the trend from the award circuit, kind of, that I'm feeling. And I just feel like it's one of those movies that's kind of, like, mysterious and it's a Western and... Um, just kind of feels like an Oscar winning movie, even though I didn't enjoy it as much as some of the other ones. Um, I do see a lot of buzz for King Richard for some reason as a possible winner. I, I did enjoy that movie, but I don't think it's good enough to win best picture in my opinion. I, I just don't think there's enough, enough in it to, to drive it there. But I do see that as like, if the power of the doll doesn't win, that would be my next choice. Um, and I want, don't drive, uh, sorry, I almost gave Dan a heart attack by saying don't look up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I uh, would like to see Drive My, my Car win. Um, again, that was the movie I most enjoyed out of, uh, out of this list. Here's the interesting thing, because my brain is telling me power the dog, but my gut is telling me Belfast. So I'm going to go with my gut here and say, I think Belfast is going to win Best Picture. I think it's going to be a Green Book situation where like the most liked movie wins. And it does seem to be like, as far as like the Academy is concerned, like the most liked movie. It's a very like sentimental film, nostalgic about the theme of tolerance, which I guess these past few years, people need that. They need to be reminded. <laughs> so, um, and also, Kenneth Brown is another filmmaker that's been around forever, and he seems to have a pretty successful campaign around him. He's been on all these talk shows promoting the film, and people have been singing the praises. So that's really gonna be my like long shot. I think it's gonna win. I don't think it deserves to win, but that's what I'm currently predicting. If I was a betting man, that's what I would bet it on. Like that and Jane Campion, like I think they are gonna split it. I think Jane Campion will win Best Director, but Belfast will win Best Picture. As far as what I want to win, it's a toss up between Drive My Car and Licorice Pizza. I think as far as a singular film, Drive My Car is better, but Licorice Pizza is definitely the more likable film, the one that you can just put on and enjoy. And also, like I said, it's going to be a whole culmination of like Paul Thomas Anderson's filmography. And this is his most like likable movie. So it makes sense why this might be the one that people would be happy to see win Best Picture. Any you two very much need to see like Rich Pizza. What's it on? What streaming service? I, it's still in theaters. Ow! Oh, man, I gotta get off this couch? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, maybe I will go to the theater and order a pizza and uh, Twizzlers and put it on it and enjoy. Or some vegan nuggies. <laughs> See, I'm looking well, I was going for the licorice pizza. I'm looking forward to seeing how the, um, like how the title comes into play. I'm sure it, <laughs> there's something in the plot about it. No, not really. No? <laughs> not even it's a metaphor, little. I guess. No, it's, it was the name of a record store in the valley. All right, so we want to know what you guys think. What were your favorites from last year and what are your predictions? What are your least favorites? What shouldn't have been on here? We'll see you next time.